He's such a tall bugger. We're away. Jerome like it's in their pocket, no damage there. Point for Jerome. He seemed to be able to mitigate that. You'd have to say there's another point. Both boxes still settling down. Yeah, Jerome seems to be more the aggressor than David at the moment. The way I'm. But as you say, it's really back and pick. No, doesn't he? No. He's one of those boxers. He's, he's very good, very good movement, and he'll stand back and let you come. And pick you. And when he settles in and feels more confident, he'll start coming at you. Oh. Remember, that's one point. And remember, Jerome's got nothing to lose here. No, that's the other thing. No. He's come up to Davis' division for this belt. I think the third man's going to play an important role in here too. How hard is it for a boxer to actually, you know, come up in weight? I mean, losing weight, jockeys do it all the time, jumping into a sauna or the likes, but, you know, to go up in weight, I mean, difficult? Well, one litre of water, one kg. Two Big Macs, 0.5. Speaking of which. And remember, after this, Jerome, he'll go back to what he did. Yep. Oh, a couple of. He's only moving up for the competition, the good, solid competition. Yeah, Jerome's Not avoiding it. no one. He wants competition. He's hungry. He's got his mind set on the Olympic Games. All going well. And I guess if you can't travel overseas to compete, you've got to fight the competition within. And of course it's limited with the number of guys at that calibre. Exactly. But we do well for a small country. Over five million now. Just over. A few people have come home, of course, with the COVID-19. But yep. Now they're five over. million, we might have oh, a thousand boxes. If we're lucky. Yeah. And here we have two world ranked boxers in front of us. I think Jerome got ranked number six in the world at the um, last world ranking tournament. And we all know Do uh, David Noyega's rankings. All right, we're into our second round. This is world need class boxing in front of us. Here, in New Zealand. Well, I think David's going to definitely have to step he's, up the pace. He's, he's stepped up the game. He's standing, he's waiting for him. He's done his feeling out process. It's more just mental stuff. No points in there. A couple of nice jab pieces, though. Crowd starting to warm up as well. 
He's written halfway through the second round of this three three by three minute rounds this one a little bit untidy on the inside locking up each other's hands no one wanting to give each other any room no that is for real this tight gotta try and collect their points as they move in a couple of shots look for someone to give them a bit of room and get away David using a bit of experience by holding him in close with the other arm. Looking, giving the ref the eye. As you see, you're getting frustrated, getting frustrated. You might say we see some punches and anger. Yeah, you do sense that David's getting a little bit frustrated because uh, Jerome's coming in and just tying him up a little bit. He's not able to get those arms free. He's not able to box his game. He's not allowed to box his game. Jerome's taking that away from him. Just Jerome just needs to try and get busy on that inside. Collect some more points. Mind you, everyone wants to see these two big boys. I got to agree, don't they? Why is it not 12 rounds other than... Because the action wouldn't be there. you got three rounds to oh. do your best. Nice. If it was 12 rounds, you'd slow down and it wouldn't be the action. Don't get me into amateur first professional. Is the 10th. Oh, Jerome just got a. Surprise, no one's getting doing a bit of a warning. This is going to make for an interesting final round. You're going to make a call. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'll go with David. Oh. Doesn't even want to give the underdog a crack. No, 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 I'm not, I mean, I'm no expert like yourself. I'm just looking at, uh, he's been getting frustrated, and I think that he'll get that jab working a little bit harder, you know, um, in this third and final round, and then... I think that's why they call me um, Power Marshal um, SME. A subject matter expert. Doesn't matter what the subject is. <laughs> you just know it. I just know it. <laughs> Seconds out. In three minutes. Jerome, nothing to lose. I think he's going to take it. He's going to give it his crack. He's going to give everything he's got. This is going to be a fast pace. Why not? Hey, why not give it a go? You've come up a weight division. You're up against one of the best in the world. Commonwealth Games medalists. Olympic Games medalists. Why not? Don't wait, get stuck in. Just have a go, mate. You know, they haven't come here to have a cup of tea. They're here to actually see who is actually the better. As you say, he's come up, Jerome's come up and, and, and wait. He's definitely an underdog, right? Yep. Yeah. But you got to take your head off. He's getting a workout. Yeah, and, that, and I think, you know, that slight height advantage that David's got, he's starting to have a little impact, but it's been getting taken away from him. Jerome's in his, in his face. He's inside the reach. Imagine if Jerome was a heavyweight. That would have knocked him. just tying him up that's the thing it's just tying him up and not getting those arms free to be able to 
really land that that one. That's or two. knowledge, though, isn't it? Yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing. Shut it down. Shut it down. Which makes it difficult. Oh, we that knowledge, that's experience there too, and he knows what he can get away with. He got a warning. Seconds. Yeah. But if, if you're Jerome and you're looking for good, hard competition to keep you've just, yourself busy, you've just got you could that. say he just got it. You've just got that in that boat. Right. Hard felt where he's got to push himself and really, really think about what he's doing. Afraid of mixing that up at all. This might be his third year. Split decision. That was a split decision. That is very well done, Jerome. Yeah, to be able to hold through. You know, even to pull it out as a split decision. Because in my experience, if you...